Okay, so how well do you know percent? Well, if you know percent pretty well, then you should be able to handle a problem like this. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. The problem is 7 is 19% of what number? So this is a little bit more interesting than a common type of direct percent question. I'm talking about things like what is 5% of 30 or something like that. This is pretty straightforward. And when it comes to percent, probably the most frequent type of percent questions we answer are things of this kind of nature, finding a percent of a number. But this one, again, is a little bit more interesting. To get, uh, the problem is 7 is 19% of what number? So, hmm, a little bit more interesting. There's a couple different approaches you can take to solve a problem like this. It all depends on how your math teachers uh, taught you how to um, uh, solve percent problems. Again, there's not just one approach. So whether you learned this five years ago, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago, if you feel like you could confidently solve this problem without guessing, put your answer into the comment section and don't feel shy about using a calculator. A calculator is simply a tool, but uh, all I would ask is that you know um, what you're doing. You're not guessing. I'm going to show you the actual correct answer here in a second. And then, of course, I'm going to explain what I think is the best way to solve a percent problem like this. But uh, when it comes to practical math, nothing's probably more important in our everyday life than being awesome at percent. It's just simply everywhere. You go to the store, you see sales, this percent off, you read about the economic news, money, you know, interest rates, credit card, uh, rates, inflation, mortgages, etc. This symbol is everywhere. So we really, truly want to understand it. But uh, again, we're going to get to all this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'm telling you right now, Everyone can be successful in mathematics, and I'm especially speaking to those of you out there that think you are bad at math or like, um, I was never good at math. I'm terrible at math. Listen, you can be great at math, okay? But you got to believe in yourself, and you need, more importantly, great math instruction. Clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of math, Check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be taking a test or preparing for a test with the math section, I'm talking about things like certification exams, entrance exams, placement exams, things like the uh, GED, SAT, ACT, maybe the ASVAB, GMAT, GRE, uh, teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning uh, homeschool courses for middle and high school mathematics. If you need a pair of great math notes, well, you should have your own. Okay, so learn how to be an awesome note taker. Uh, everything in math will go much, much better. But in the meantime, you can use my math notes to study from. I'll leave links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into uh, this particular problem. I'm going to show you the answer right now. Okay, so 7 is 19% of what number? So the question is, well, what is that number? The number is approximately 36.84. There's some more digits, but if you um, answered somewhere in this vicinity, 36.8, 36.84, whatever uh, additional digits, well, then nice job. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice happy face and A plus and a 110%. And we'll throw in a few stars because that's pretty awesome. You appear to be on top of your percent game. Okay, but if you are confused, and by the way, too, as long as you didn't guess and whatever approach you took, okay, and you're like, no, I know exactly what to do to do this problem. Because think about it. If I have 7 and 19%, you could do all kinds of things with these numbers. I can go like 7 times 19. Uh, I can do um, uh, 7 divided by 19. I can go 19 divided by 7. There's all sorts of permutations and combinations. And some of you are like, oh, yeah, like percent. Don't we have to like uh, move the decimal point? And again, you know, if you happen to stumble upon this uh, answer, but you weren't quite sure, well, then you're going to want to pay attention to the rest of this video. Okay, so it's worthwhile to review a real basic percent problem. It's, uh, basically the type of problem that I indicated in this uh, the beginning of this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to find a percent of a number. So let's say we wanted to find 6% of 28. How do we solve that problem? Well, what you need to do is you uh, rewrite percent, or you change a percent into a decimal. 
So we're going to express 6% as a decimal, and 6% as a decimal is the decimal point zero six. So how do we do that? Well, what you do to go from a percent to a decimal is basically you divide by 100. You take that percent number, you divide by 100, and that's effectively the same as moving the, uh, the decimal point two places to the left. So if you have 6 or 6.0%, and I move the decimal point over two places to the left, it, it lands right there, okay? There's a zero in front of that six, so that's 0 0.06, okay? Or six divided by 100. Uh, this is how you go from percent to a decimal. So that's the first thing you do. You change your percent to a decimal, and then you're gonna go ahead and multiply by that number. So if I'm trying to find 6% of 28, I take that decimal, multiply it by 28, and of course I can use a calculator, not a problem, and the answer here is 1.68. Okay, so let's take a look at this example here. 6% of X, or 6%, and what would X, what's another way we can uh, say uh, what this represents? Well, X is a number, right? In algebra, this represents some number. So 6% of some number would be another way to write this, okay? Or 6% of X. Well, how do we uh, express this? Well, we use the same process as we did over here. We're going to change our percent into a decimal, 0 0.06, and we just simply multiply by this mystery number, which is x. So 0 0.06 times x or 0 0.06x. So that's just how we would solve this. Again, we don't know what this value is, but whatever this value is, we're simply going to multiply it by 0 0.06, and we got the right answer. Okay, so it's important that you understand uh, this, what I just covered here, uh, to be able to understand how to solve a problem like the one we have. Okay, so the best way to solve this problem, in my opinion, I've been teaching math for decades, is to just uh, express this or translate this into a nice algebraic equation. So let's go ahead and do that now. So seven is, of course, uh, seven. Anytime you see is in mathematics in a kind of written uh, verbal uh, sentence, that is always the equal sign. So seven is equal to, or seven is, okay? So this is is going to be uh, equal, uh, it's gonna be the equal sign in terms of mathematics, all right? So seven is equal to, here we have 19%. Remember, when we're trying to solve a percent problem, we're gonna turn it into a decimal. So we'll write that as 0.19. So 19% of what number? Well, again, this number is the, uh, we can represent as X. So we're gonna take that decimal and multiply by that number. Okay, so 19% or, or 0.19 times this mystery number is equal to seven. Okay, so you gotta be able to translate from a verbal sentence into a variable sentence. And once you do that, then what you have is a super basic uh, algebraic equation that we can solve. So seven is equal to 0.19X. Uh, all we need to do here is solve for X. So how do I solve for X? Well, you simply divide both sides of the equation by 0.19. Again, don't feel shy about using your calculator. Don't do this uh, arithmetic by hand. You can if you like, but it's not necessary. Okay, so we're going to solve for X. We're going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.19. So we go into our calculator. We go 7 divided by 0.19, and you get X is equal to 36.84. Again, there's uh, other digits here, but we'll just kind of round off right there. 36.84, again, that is the answer. And if you weren't you know, uh, certain about that, we're like, okay, 36.84 is 19%. Uh, if not, is 19% of 36.84. If you do that, uh, well, just to kind of check, it should be around seven, right? So I would go 0.19. I actually should have shown this. I usually do this in my videos, but you could do it yourself. So we can go 0.19 times 36.84, and you'll see uh, you'll get a decimal value pretty close to seven. So again, percent is one of these um, practical math skills that you're going to want to get super good at, it, and you want to go above and beyond just basic percent problems. Now, if you're struggling with percent and you want to kind of want to go back to basic math or just, you know, learn basic percent, basic algebra, then maybe uh, I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations. One, I have a ton of YouTube videos on percent and basic algebra, uh, so that can definitely help you out. But if you're looking to kind of review basic math, I would check out my math foundations course. It's a little mini course that kind of covers the basics from like uh, elementary school and beyond. 
So, of course, you can find that in my math uh, help program. I also would recommend like my pre-algebra or algebra one course, and all those courses I do cover percent. But uh, hopefully this video helps you out, and if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.